Hey, welcome to Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'm Lee, and in this video, we'll be going through how to name your warband and give them a background. Now we've got the Beasts of Chaos all built and ready to go, and we've assembled a kind of roster and put our warband together, ready for a campaign. It's time to name them, give them a background, and also look at our leader and favored warrior and go a little bit more in depth into their origin, what they're all about, why they're in the eight points, and what their mission is. In the previous behind the scenes video, we looked at how to put together a warband using the cards and the start collecting set. And now the next stage is to look at giving that warband a background, naming them, and also focusing on the leader or the favored warrior. So you've got an origin and a background for those two. And in the core book, you're going to find from page 134 onwards, you're going to find a series of background tables and a little introduction to this part of the narrative campaign. And this is a really fun part. You know, you can use the book to name and give a background and origin to your whole warband, or you can come up with your own. And this is a really fun part of the whole campaign process. And on this page, it just gives you a little introduction to the background tables and then just shows you how you can use a little piece of narrative just to set the scene for your warband. So you could come up with a little story like this and that would really kind of get them started and start things working in, in your own mind as to what you want your warband to be like. But this process can be as simple and quick as you like. You could use the tables that are given in the book or you can spend hours sitting down, coming up with ideas, using your imagination. So it's really up to you. But uh, in the book, you'll see in the main core book, it's got the Iron Golem, and it's got the Corvus Cabal, Untamed Beasts, the original kind of war cry specific war bands. And then it's also got the Night Horn and some other Age of Sigma ones, the Stormcast Eternals, Legions of Nagash, Gloom Spike Gits, Iden of Deepkin, Flesh Eater Courts, Iron Jaws, Doors of Cain, Bone Splitters, and that's it. So there's a good chance that the army or war band you're collecting is going to be in here. If you started off with just Warcry, then you know you really are going to pretty much get everything except for the K Knight Shadow Stalkers in here. And if you play Age of Sigmar and you want to use some of those models and miniatures, then there's a good chance it's going to be one of these. If it isn't, that's when you start using the expansion books. And I've got the Warcry Agents of Chaos one here. And this is the one I'll be using for the Beasts of Chaos. So I'll just show you kind of these as an example. And we'll use the Beasts of Chaos book, but the layout's exactly the same as it would be in that core book. So before I, I went through this section, I took a look back at the introduction to the Beasts of Chaos. And for every warband, you're going to get two pages of narrative like this. And this is a good place just to get a little flavour of what they're all about. And it gives you a little bit of background and explains kind of some of the reasons why they might be in the eight points and what they're up to. And so that sets the scene. So it's really important to read through that, I think, first. And that will be laid out for all the different warbands. And this is the same in the core book as well. So, for example, Blades of Corn, you're going to have that layout too. And then once you've read that, you can flick to the tables pages. And then on each page, you're going to get one page for each faction. So these will be all the chaos ones. Uh, so with the Beast of Chaos, we just start with a little introduction and again, just a little bit of narrative, but enough to get you started and give you a good idea of what they're about. And then you've got a first name and last name table and you can either choose a name for which one you want or you can roll a dice and let it be like totally random for the first and second name. So that would just come out as Gorak Wildkin. So then you'd make a note of that and that would be a name for your first miniature. And the same goes for the origin and leader or favoured warrior backgrounds. You could choose or just roll a dice. So on a four, the origin of your warband could be masterful stalkers. And your warband excels at launching blistering ambushes upon the unwary. And then if you went random for the leader, that would be a two. So ear split in howl. This warrior's battle roar can utterly deafen those nearby. And then taking those two little bits of information, that sets your warband up and that's going to maybe influence how you play. If they like um, ambushing, maybe your tactics will change. Uh, but, it, you know, this will give you a kind of a little start. And it's as simple as that. You could stop there, 
go through this for every fighter and they'll all have a name. Give the origin of the warband just one roll. Pick out your leader and your favoured warrior and give them a background and then you're up and ready to go. But I like to take this a lot further and I'd rather come up with my own names and my own origin and my own background uh, for the leader and for all the warriors. So I thought it'd be cool in this video to go through the process I use to come up with all the names and the background. So here's the fighters I'm going to be taking in for a thousand point warband first of all and I've got my great Bray Shaman as the leader there and so the first thing I do when I'm coming to a warband or I want to kind of think about how to write a background for them and come up with their names and things like that is I'll write down some keywords and so I've got a load of keywords here that I've come up with and I'll take these from the different books and I'll read through the narrative that's included and I'll just pick out words that describes the Beast of Chaos I'll go and look on the kind of wiki pages and see how they would describe them. And that would give me a kind of an idea, almost a brainstorm of what I could come up with. And then I'll, I'll work through this and I'll like circle or cross out words that I think would describe the warband I want to create. So, I mean, straight away, evil isn't something I would put with these. So I'd cross that one out. Um, I would say they're going to be determined. They're not sadistic, uh, but they really kind of rely on anarchy and they look for anarchy they're not so much filled with rage but they're very tribal and they want to despoil society they act as a herd follow the leader they're savage they're not mindless and they're not crazy but they're primal and strong and yeah in charge so these are the words i would go with so a desecrate they like to desecrate anything to do with society i imagine they don't want that they want complete anarchy so so that would kind of give me a good start and then i get to my mind kind of thinking about how they're going to be and how i imagine them to act and then from that i'll start looking at the origin and background and so i've just put a few lines that make me kind of think of them and it's like they hate society structure civilization cities they believe it's their destiny to rid lands of order they desire a world descended into anarchy. They're only faithful to the herd and they're loyal to their leader. And then I just kind of wondered if the philosophy of the greater good would apply to them or not. So I'm not sure about that yet, but they're certainly loyal and faithful to themselves, to their herd and to their leader. And so this whole warband is really focused around following the leader and the great Bray Shaman and they all got the respect for him and they want to follow him into battle and um, they'll go wherever he goes without question. So that's kind of something that's going to be key to them, that loyalty to the leader. And so I wanted to look then at the leader background. And so I used the book as a little prompt. There was dream vision was in the book. I'll just get it so you can see. So this was a great prompt. There's dream visions. A Bray Shaman's prophetic visions have foreseen a great destiny for your warband. And I really liked that idea and I was thinking kind of how that would, would come about and I was looking online at all things to do with goats and I read that they actually enjoy eating psychedelic mushrooms and so goats get more high than humans and I thought well that's a good place to start. He's a shaman, you know, he's going to be drinking some concoction from nature so he's into his psychedelic mushrooms and in that dream state I imagine he saw a comet coming down to earth and then he told that to the herd, but then that came true in real life. A, 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 a comet actually landed, and then he believes now that the herd must find that landing site. They've got to get there, and that's why they embark on their campaign, and that's why they're going to kind of leave their homeland in the kind of fringes of the mountains, and they're going to go off, uh, based on this vision and hallucination, they're going to go off on their journey to find this landing site. And then I thought... They're going to be really determined about getting there. They really believe that they've been kind of chosen to get this comet and that there's something there at the landing site. And so with the leader, I want him to be real steadfast and determined with the idea that nothing and no one will stop the herd. So from those keywords and then just thinking on that for a little while and coming up with a few lines for an origin and background and then focusing on the leader, We've got the makings of something kind of interesting, I think, now, and we can start to build on that. But I want to personalise all the individual fighters as well. But before we do that, we've got to come up with a name for the warband. 
So the simplest name that you're going to come up with would be Beasts of Chaos or, for example, Corvus Cabal. Just call them what they are. So if you can't think of anything, it doesn't really matter. Just name them what they are. So these could just be Beasts of Chaos. But I think it's fun to come up with a name. And again, it's going to personalize it, make it unique and be fun, fun part of the process too. So here I've written down a few names, some that just came to my head, others I had a look online, looked at some puns and things related to it, and I kind of thought straight away of the, the Dream Seekers, the Chosen Herd, the Profiteers, Drop the Bleat, Bleating Hearts, Wild Stalkers, the Only Bray is Chessex, Scapegoats, Gruff Horns, and so if you've got any ideas, add them below, any goat puns would be always welcome, so yeah, join in in the comment section below. And, um, but what I've gone for, I really like the chosen herd, but I crossed out herd and I've just gone for the chosen. I just thought that sounded quite cool. So I'm going to call the warband the chosen. And then for names, rather than going with kind of the names from the book and from those tables, I thought it'd be fun to look up famous names of people who were called like Billy. And then from that, I went from Billy to William. So I'm looking for famous Billy, like Billy Goats. And then from... Those names, I was using their names as prompts to give me some ideas for backgrounds for the individual fighters. And that started off with like silly names like Vincent Van Goat to then I found someone called Billy Strayhorn, who's a jazz musician. And I thought that'd be a cool name, perfect for this guy. And this is uh, one of the best of gores, And he's got the horn that he carries around with him. And I just thought that would really fit in with him. So the kind of... Stray Horn is a great name anyway for a goat man. So I thought that one worked for him. And so then I'm looking at different names and applying it to the different models. Uh, another one was like Billie Holiday and two songs that she's famous for are Blue Moon and Strange Fruit. And so then that got me thinking, perhaps one of the fighters is always looking for some strange things to eat. Or perhaps they like, they worship the blue moon and they're always kind of going on about that. and. But the if the idea of, of food and eating strange food, like they'll eat anything, they'll eat parts of their enemy, they always want to try food out. I thought that would be kind of fun to include. So, and that could be any, I could just pick this fighter and say, that one's called Holiday now. And so I went through lists of all famous Billies and Williams and just made some notes like Faulkner, maybe we've got like a poet philosopher in the war band, maybe we've got Gates who's intent on world domination and enslaving everybody on the planet. Uh, Murray, like Bill Murray. And then I looked at Ghostbusters and uh, I thought, wouldn't it be funny like to twist it so that this character would be afraid of ghosts or like spirits. So playing on the Ghostbusters. So he would always be thinking of the spirits of his forefathers or something like that. So that's something I, I would definitely want to build on and include. And then I was looking at Bill Shatner, William Shatner. So he's obsessed with stars in the night sky. Uh, Burr, maybe he insults the enemy with observational truths. I thought that was quite funny. So I definitely want to include that. And I can imagine as, as you're playing that this character or miniature is just insulting the other fighters from the enemy. I thought that would be quite cool. And then there's this guy called Sunday, who's a famous baseball player and an evangelist. And I thought, well, that'd be cool for this, this miniature that I put together. He's got like a club, so he's got a good swing to his bat. He's got the banner. And so he's shouting the kind of uh, philosophy of the herd as they go around. And so that looks like a kind of an evangelistic figure, if that's a word. So that would be for something like that. And then you've got Billy Cyrus, Ray Cyrus, achy breaky heart. Maybe this, this one miniature likes to eat hearts. So we've maybe got like a heart eater kind of character in there. And then Billy Zane. Obviously it's going to be, he was in Sniper the movie. So we choose like one of the archers. Perfect name for him. So it'd be Zane and so on. So just coming up with different names and using those prompts just to write down some background. And then I'll probably just go and write uh, like a paragraph for each one assign the name to the miniature I want it to go with, and then that's really going to kind of give me ownership of that warband and the individual fighters within it. And that's going to make it really fun as we're playing. If any get injured or die, then, you know, you're going to lose them and you kind of got some little attachment to them and the background and everything you've developed. So I think that's going to be really a fun part of the game for sure. 
And then another thing that I would do to come up with names is just have a look at kind of words related to goat. So I went through and just looked online and like satire, satirini, selenus, bleat, butt, caprine, fawn, weather, buck. And then just thinking, hey, maybe I could use those to come up with names. So I like the idea that these are called the chosen, the war band. But I like the idea that each war band would have maybe the same name. And so I thought Gruffhorn sounded really good so to put together. So then I'm thinking you'd have like Murray Gruffhorn or Zane Gruffhorn. And so I thought that would be quite fun. And then I looked at the different meanings of the words. And weather is the word they would give to a goat who's been castrated. And so I thought this is perfect for this figure. And he's got like a scar on his eye here. And he's got what looks like orc skulls on his shield. So I imagined... He was in a battle, the orcs castrated him, left him for dead, he survived, and now he hates orcs. He's the only castrated member of the warband here. They all tease him, and he's just out to get some revenge on the orcs now. And so he collects the orc skulls as he goes around. And then I thought that would really be fun to use that as I play the different battles. If we come across a warband of orcs, then he's just going to be enraged. And I could put like a little rule in that... He always attacks the closest orc to him and um, he's got that rage that's built up over the years and he wants to get his revenge. And I think that's a really cool way to take the, these little backgrounds you give your fighters and make that influence how you play with them on the battlefield, either by adding that little mechanic or little rule into it or just by kind of putting yourself into their position and thinking, what would this fighter do in this situation? So that one's going to be something like Buck Weather gr uh, Gruffhorn or just Weather Gruffhorn, something like that. So and I think he's one of my favourites so far. So that sums up two ways that we can name our warband and the fighters and give them all a background. So we can either use the book or just come up with our own ideas and come up with something completely crazy or funny or however you want to approach it. It's entirely up to you. But this is for sure one of the, the most fun parts of the whole campaign is getting started, putting together your warband, choosing which fighters you're going to use and then giving them these names and backgrounds. And uh, yeah, it can be as quick as you like or as in-depth and as long as you like to get through this process. So let me know what you think. What do you do? Do you use the books and the tables or do you like to come up with your own stories, names and backgrounds and things like that and don't forget to add your own goat puns in the comment section below i can't wait to see what you're all going to come up with now we've gone through assembling the warband and starting to look at the names and everything the next step will be to put all this down into the roster so i'll do a, another video on completing that roster where we go through it together and i'll go through each step actually filling it all out with the names once i finalize them so this series is like behind the scenes where I'm actually using the Beasts of Chaos as an example and showing you how I'm kind of building a campaign from start right through to finish. But if you want to go through the actual rules that are in the books, then I've got that other series, the campaign rule series running. We're up to part two as far as now with this video out, um, but part three will be coming out next. And that's where we start going into actually playing battles. And then we'll look at the aftermath sequence. But I'll continue with the behind the scenes series as well alongside it. And the next one I'll do is going to be filling out the roster. And then we'll also start building on those rules videos as well. So that's all going to keep kind of unfolding over the next few days. And if you're watching this in the future, all this will already be finished. Um, so you'll have both series you could watch alongside each other. So I think a good way really is to watch the rules videos and then so you've got a good idea of the theory and then watch these behind the series behind the scenes series so you can see that theory put into practice thanks so much for watching i really hope this video was helpful and gave you a good idea about how to name your war band and if you like this kind of content then please check out my patreon page it's a great place for you to support the channel so i can keep doing these daily videos but it's also fun. We hang out on Discord. We share our hobby, have some great discussions about all things related to Warcry, Underworlds and Cursed City for the new Warhammer Quest game that's coming out. And you can also pick up some perks there that you're not going to get anywhere else. So it'd be awesome if you checked it out. Thank you. Thanks so much for watching. Come back tomorrow and you'll see the roster being filled out. And I'll also start putting some more of the rules videos on. 
Please like if you like it, subscribe for more videos like this, and don't forget to hit the notification bell to join me next time on Tabletop Skirmish Games. <laughs>